Hey YouTube friends and welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, before we continue with today's video, I just want to say that if you didn't watch yesterday's video, it's probably because you missed it or you're not subscribed or you don't have the notification bell set. But if you didn't watch yesterday's video, go back and watch yesterday's video when you're done with this one. It'll have a thumbnail that look like this and the title of it is called No Skills Needed Selling on eBay. And I'll have a description down below. The reason I'm saying all that is if you didn't watch yesterday's video, then you don't know about the $50 Amazon gift cards we're giving away. We're giving away two $50 Amazon gift cards. So there's two lucky winners that's going to win one of these. And like I said, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, well, then be sure that if you haven't yet subscribed, go over and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that that way you'll always be notified when we have videos that come out. But after you're done watching this video, go back and watch yesterday's video so you can find out how you can enter to win one of these $50 gift cards. All right, well, let's continue with today's video. Well, I'm getting ready to go into an estate sale. Let me show you the sign right behind me. There's the estate sale sign, if you can see it. And in that building right there is the estate sale. So that's where I'm getting ready to head. So here we go. Those are some nice knives. I didn't find them anchor mark. Oh, I just landed on just a few minutes. Yeah. It's too bad. Yeah. But I mean, that's a good night, though. I just wish it, yeah, I wish. But yeah, but the manufacturer's mark makes it a little bit more uh, <laughs> yeah. desirable. Right. Well, you know, the thing is, it could be so so old that it, it's, it, won't, it doesn't have its maker's mark. Yeah. Or it could have even been changed the design over time or something slightly. It is a good knife though. Canon P23 DHV. So I got out of the estate sale. I only picked up three items. Like I said, first day, prices are really high. Uh, but it was a big, big place, so I may have to try to go back if I can sometime on the fourth day. The normally estate sales only have three days. This one's so big that it has four days. 
so uh, Wednesday through Saturday and uh, I'm filming this on a Wednesday I don't know when you're gonna see it or what day of the week you're gonna see this but I'm gonna try to go back on a Saturday and if I can and see what I can find all right I'm bouncing enough around this truck so let me get home these are the three items that I picked up um, I picked up this ready kilowatt uh, advertising ashtray and I'm hoping to get about $16 plus shipping on that. I thought this was really cool. It was an Indianapolis Motor Speedway Ashtray. It is worn down here on the bottom, unfortunately. But it does have all the winners of all the Indianapolis 500 Speedway up to this point. And you can see it starts, there's 1911. It starts right there. And I think it goes around to 1972. So... It was a good ashtray. There's no chips or anything. So I'm going to try to get about $20, $25 for that. And I did pick up this LaserJet uh, print cartridge. I did pay $10 for it. Uh, this is model CE505XC. It's the large print. And I know that seems like a good uh, a lot of money, $10 for this print cartridge. But right now they're selling for about $40 to $45 plus shipping uh is what they're selling for so i'm gonna ask at least i'm probably gonna ask around 45 dollars plus shipping and see what i can get for it uh but yeah i'm gonna make my money that's for sure anyway i always run to the post office before i go out and about so i did have some items that sold and i went ahead and i didn't record what sold um it was only a few items so and i don't always record every sale some people might think that as a reseller and as a youtube creator that I record all my sales and I don't. I record certain days and that's the day that I talk about my sales. Unless it's over a weekend, sometimes I talk about my sales over the weekend. But I only had a couple items that sold and I went ahead and wrapped them up, took them to the post office and ran over to the estate sale. But while I was there, I had three more items sold and I have to go back out. So I might as well take those, tell you what those three items that sold while I was gone at the estate sale. And because i gotta wrap them up and i'm gonna take them out while i go because like i said i gotta go out that way anyway so by the post office so i might as well go ahead and wrap them and take them out there but let me go ahead and show you the three items that sold all right so the first item is in this penny bin and i think i can reach it with one hand it might be a little difficult but i gotta lift this up i don't want that top one to fall but it's i know it's i can see it it's right there oh uh, let's see if we can get it 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 yay we got it all right, let me get the, oh, sorry. I'm bouncing you around. All right, so let's see if you can see it. Inside this bag is a little tiny small microphone. It's a DYN. It's a little Japanese made microphone. Probably, I'm gonna say mid-century, maybe around the 60s, maybe. Somewhere in that area, uh, 50s, 70s. I'm not gonna say exactly for sure because I don't know and I couldn't find it model. I tried to look it up and I couldn't find anything on this specific microphone other than they're not super big sellers but i didn't pay but much very much for it i picked it up at a thrift shop garage sale something like that so this sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right so in this priority padded flat rate envelope and i don't know if you can read it my handwriting's on there it's really horrible it says real tree and what's in here is real tree brand cornhole bean bags and this is quite heavy it's probably about eight pounds uh, when I went to a thrift shop and I showed it in a video probably several weeks ago where I picked up two big bags full of these bean bags, cornhole bean bags, and explained what the game was. Might have been almost a month and a half ago now. But anyway, I picked up and made six lots of these cornhole bean bag sets. And this sold for $39.99. So the first one that I sold a couple weeks ago already paid for what i found and now this is just extra profit and like i said i think i got maybe five more sets left so it's really good and like i said it probably weighs about eight pounds but they go right in a padded flat rate envelope so it's only gonna cost me seven dollars and change to mail it out all right and the next item i sold is in here and that's not it but that one's it right here and this is heat moldable dr comfort insoles i found several of them at the thrift shop for a really good price i think i bought uh well, there's one more left i think it was three for a dollar 99 so that's not too bad anyway this sold for 11.99 shipped i believe i don't think i charged shipping i have to look 
or I'll show it right here and you can see if I charge shipping. But so they, anyway, these sold for $11.99. Real lightweight, go to Poly Miller. So these are the three items that sold. I'm gonna get them wrapped up and take them to the post office. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget, reach over, click that subscribe button, and then reach over and click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Y'all be safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.